So this lesson is going to be about seven cards uh, of the seven main modes going up and down the C major scale. Uh, we're going to start off with a click uh, just to get things going at a nice steady pace. Uh, the purpose of this exercise is just to be able to go up and down the fretboard nice and fluidly but also to build up your knowledge of the different cards that are uh, available in the different modes of the C major scale. So we're going to jump straight into it with a click track. So we want to be doing one note per B here. So that's just to show you the exercise, so I'm going to go more in depth with it now. Going up is a lot easier uh, for certain students than going back down is, but all you have to remember is the different notes of your different uh, arpeggios. So just think of each mode as you're doing it and it's a lot easier to remember it then. So if you're doing the start of the exercise up here, you're essentially just doing the C major arpeggio that you were doing down here, but it's up an octave. So you know that arpeggio, but you're doing it backwards. Instead of going, you're going. So that's actually what catches a lot of uh, students off, is starting that off up the octave. But because you're going backwards, sometimes when you're trying to think of it, you, you overthink these things and it trips you up. So... We're going to go in detail here. You're going on the 16th fret here of the G string and you're doing a B. You're doing a B to a G to an E to the C. So that's your first chord going backwards. It's also your first chord the same way up here, but you're just doing it in reverse. So no different. All the same notes. So now, on to the next card. The next card going back down is your um, is your B, but it's a B um, minor seven flat five, and it kind of is self uh, explanatory. You're just uh, you have a flat five, and it's a minor it's a minor seven. So with the flat five, instead of going, you're going. Couldn't be any simpler than that. You're just going down half a step. Um, it's also called a diminished chord. Diminished is always that it has a flat five and then augmented is uh, pretty much that you always have a sharp. So um, with say, for example, you were doing that diminished chord with the five, that's what it sounds like. If you're doing the augmented chord, it sounds like that. So uh, it's you're using with the augmented, you're using the major three and then sharp five. And then with this here, this is like um, just an octave where it's the, uh, the flat five with the octave. So that, that's two different chords there for you. Just a little bit of knowledge I thought I'd throw in there. So that's the diminished or the, uh, the minor seven flat five. And then you're sliding down to your G here. 12th fret on the G string. But that's actually the A minor. You're just starting on the 7th degree or the 7th note. And then from the... You go to your G um, dominant or G mixolydian. And then this is going to your uh, F major. A little trick there is to start on the... Um, the ninth fret of the G string or the E and then down like this it makes it easier to transition to your next chord which is an E minor and then you slide to the uh, seventh again of the D minor and then finally back down to C so that's going completely backwards there um, Again, 
that's I'm only giving you the names of the cards. I'm not associating which modes they are. Uh, but you know, in your own time, learn the names of the modes and you know have them in your head. Then I know that um the names of the modes can be a little bit difficult uh, due to the Greek names and stuff. Uh, it it can be a little bit annoying to try and remember them. So a nice acronym if you want to remember the modes of the major scale is uh, I don't punch like Muhammad Ali and if you do that in C major you're basically just saying I for Ionian which is the C don't which is Dorian punch which is Phrygian like Lydian Muhammad which is the Mixolydian or the fifth Ah, <laughs> which is uh, Aeolian uh, or your natural minor uh, scale is where this would start and then Li which is Locrian so that's what all of the modes are I might as well throw this into the same lesson uh, to help you out so Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian uh, Lydian, Mixolydian Aeolian Locrian and we're going to do the uh, exercise one more time just something to help you go over it in your own time. Best of luck.